Hey guys, and uh, welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. I'm a little bit confused with this stream today, right? Because I've got stuff happening all over the place. So uh, just a little heads up, I'm going to be playing using... Um, so I'm going to be playing using the, the OBS, right? The OBS screen. The OBS screen is going to tell me what I'm going to be playing and whatnot. So what you've got here now is I've got two misters running side by side. I've got on the left hand side, I've got my single RAM unit, which is actually running via an Elgato HD 60S Plus. It's a very, very good capture card. I've been using it for a long time. And on the right hand side, the double SD RAM version that is actually running via a Ugreen HDMI to USB-C adapter. Now, I was kind of testing the Ugreen adapter. It wasn't as good as the Elgato and I, you know the Elgato is like I don't know 10 times more the price than the adapter so I guess it makes sense but you know what running it on here it kind of it, it, it kind of it messing about with it a little bit it kind of started working now I know there's always people are always saying what's better is single RAM better is dual RAM better guys honestly to some extent I think this stream is fairly pointless right and and I'm saying that being completely honest because um in recent testing when I've played single RAM stuff um and I've played dual RAM stuff I, I haven't been able to notice any differences uh, I want to give a shout out to Robbie over in the discord who kind of said test out power slave and burning rangers because those uh those those actual games really really do push the system so we'll check that out at the moment you have we haven't got any volume right so what we're going to do i'm going to put the volume up for the single sd ram right and which is that over here right and what i'm going to do now is at the same time i'm not going to be here this i'd really appreciate some feedback if it's very very clangy enough i did press the buttons at the same time let me move the dual ram volume up now right so now if everything's in sync it should be a little bit louder but the sound shouldn't be off now if it is off it might be off by such a minute millisecond due to the difference in my button presses but i did try and time them as accurately as i can as accurately as i can sorry uh, typical huh? as soon as i put the volume up there's actually no volume in this part of the game so don't worry volume will come soon and i'll what i'll do is i'll turn one down i'll turn the other up honestly this is a very very different stream to what i'm used to doing it's very very different and it's very very confusing right right now i've got two controllers in my lap i've got one on my left one which is uh well for the left side the single sd ram and i've got one on the right side so i'll try and sync stuff up i uh, also want to take this opportunity to send a big massive shout out to mr add-ons they are the sponsor for any mr related live streams check them out for well all your mr stuff and yeah you know mr add-ons are awesome so that's both the sounds playing now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn down the dual ram sound and we've only got the single one playing right now i'm going to turn back up the dual ram one to around the same kind of uh volume level and now i'm going to turn down the single one right uh, my speaker i'm not listening to both i can actually only hear the single one that's the way i've set it up i didn't want both playing here one from my laptop and one from my tv so it sounded too different but guys honestly like this is just it is such a random stream so what we're going to do now is i'm going to turn the volume down for the dual ram and i am now going to kind of have the volume that we're going to be listening to for the single uh, ram unit now it's very possible during the stream we'll experiment with stuff but you know what guys your participation is always always appreciated oh why have i got top top chat up here i need to have new live chat that's what we want we want live chat and hopefully uh, let me just check one thing here making sure that i have got or have got live chat enabled that's absolutely fine so we are good right guys um someone say hello i just want to make sure chat is actually working let me turn the volume down a bit it does seem a little bit loud right now i'm going to attempt some button presses so i'm going to press start on both the controllers <laughs> let's press it again i'm just going to keep pressing start to keep things simple okay so i need to press a here let, let's do that now guys i'm not desk if you don't know who desk is his execution is just next level i can't play two games at once but i can press some buttons but guys honestly like i'm doing this stream and i'm actually thinking <laughs> was it actually worth doing right let's have a look let's try and play <laughs> i messed it up already right let's just ah, ah cookie <laughs> guys i can't do this this is too tough right let me go in the corner and kind of start again Ah, 
Okay, yeah, I can't do it, guys. It's going to be terrible gameplay. Like, more terrible than ever. Hey, LL, how you doing, man? I'm listening while working on NFC cards. Wicked. But the NFC cards are very, very easy to do, aren't they? So, right, let's... Uh... Okay, so it's, it's kind of gone out of sync based on how I've kind of done it. You know, maybe I should focus on playing on one, right? And maybe I can pop these uh, balloons here. Okay, so we're out. That's dead. Right. Now let's run another game, guys. If you if you want any tests or anything out there, then just let me know. So let's now press the menu button together. And there might be some differences on the right because it doesn't show certain screens, whereas the Elgato seems to be the better option. So let's go with um, what Robbie said. So we'll go with Burning Rangers. So... Right, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, so I kind of should have the same set. I'm pretty sure I copied the same ones over. So let's press the buttons together. Right. It might be like a millisecond or so out, but let's see if there's any differences here. Now, guys, if you spot differences, let me know. I just done this for the sake of it, right? It is just a, a random stream. Okay, so that's a bit of a bummer. So I've had to, on my single RAM, I'm going to have to do a reset. But what I'll do is I'll do a reset on both. So hopefully they'll just load up. Right, hopefully we'll get that Sega logo coming up. Okay. Hopefully they're in sync now and both things load. But honestly, guys, like in, in single testing, right, I, I haven't found any differences between uh, single and dual RAM. Everything just seems to be like spot on. Like I know people mention there's some differences, like at least in the games that I've played and the games that I'm enjoying, I haven't found any differences. So uh, guys, yeah, well, yeah, welcome. <laughs> but I don't know. I kind of don't, don't know what to say here, man. This is such a such a random stream. I don't, I, I don't actually know if it was a... If it's if it's such a great idea, right? Maybe it sounded better in my head, but uh, you know, if I if I really wish there was a way I could use one controller on both Saturns at the same time, so when I'm inputting stuff, it's it's coming across into the games simultaneously. Now I found a way of doing that on my Mister and my PC. So uh, with a PlayStation Four controller, there's an app called like DS4 DualShock Four to PC or something like that. So what you can do is you can connect your DualShock Four wirelessly to your mister with uh, an 8-bit dull dongle and i can connect it to my pc wired it kind of goes it lets you use it wirelessly and wired at the same time so you've got one controller and that was quite interesting to make some um, castlevania hacks running side by side videos that i've got on the channel uh, so i'd love to have something like that if someone's got a solution like that then yeah i'm all ears just let me know but guys everything's just kind of running here um It'd be interesting, I'd, I'd kind of like to start the game, but I don't know how far I'll kind of get in there, but we can give it a shot. Hopefully this, I'm always concerned about cartoons uh, or anime kind of running at the beginning of games because um, it, it, it results in like copyright warnings. But at least to me, it seems like I've got the button presses bang on. Like at least to my eye, it doesn't even seem to be a frame out. I mean, it could be a frame out, right? My eyes aren't that sharp, but everything just seems to be in sync but it's great showing that the timing on both calls is just absolutely fantastic so let's press start together and again i am a bit confused here so we've got no data right can we okay yep hopefully you've got it just let me start the game don't make me jump through hoops um don't give me massive intros so guys as you can see up here single on the left and oh okay so Right, that was a little bit slower loading up on double. Did you guys notice that? But I'm also wondering if it's got something to do with the actual capturing equipment. But here we go. Let's go into story. Try to press them as, as accurately as I can. Um, right, okay. I'm just... Minimal movement. Just going to keep pressing A. And hopefully I can... I mean, I'm, I'm fairly confident I can control two d-pads and you know if i've just got to use the l button if that does anything let's now have a look let's see if there's any advantages or anything here uh robbie thank you for, for your suggestion i actually wrote it on a note and i've posted it on my monitor i'm chris parton hello chris parton wicked nice into dreams kingdom we're on pre okay oh x-men versus street fighter you know what that would be interesting maybe we can do uh, definitely do x-men versus street fighter next i'm not really writing stuff because i've got two controllers around me and it's tough can i skip this no i can't skip it right but let's have a look i mean so far it's looking good guys right just based on what we're seeing here it's looking like but there's no real, there's no advantage, right? So as it stands at the moment, there's there's absolutely no reason where one would require a dual RAM setup. Okay, so I press R on both. 
Now look to your left by pressing the L button. Okay, we can do that. Now you should see a door. I can see a door. The L and the R buttons to rotate the camera, okay? Okay, so let's rotate right, the cameras yeah. together. Okay, it's not letting me do it. Maybe it just wants me to walk forward now. Oh, okay, it's walking forward automatically. Right. Follow Reed. Use the D-pad to move in the direction you want to go. Okay, we can do that. Can see that gap ahead? Don't worry about it. Just keep running. Okay. It'll automatically clear small gaps. Nice. I like that in this game. A good game for this, right? Let's now. I'm moving forward on both, and that's that's literally all I'm doing now. I'm just holding forward. You should be able to look around corners by pressing the L and R buttons. Okay. Okay, cool. Now let's... Again? Everything seems to be parallel. Okay, even the flickering is, is there on both. Not exactly, a little bit... Oh, not exactly... I don't know. They seem to be... The slip flickering seems to be slightly different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think I might have got, gotten into yeah. I might have I might have gotten into something more than uh, what I'm barking for. Yo, yo, Mr. Alex Rose, how you doing, dude? You are doing science right now. This yeah, you know what? I bought a cheap. I wanted to buy um another capture card, and I saw this thing on Ugreen. It had kind of decent ish reviews. It's not actually bad. So I'm actually playing this via OBS on my uh, laptop screen. Have you got two controllers? Uh, the motion. No, I've just got two 8-bit though controllers. You know the M30s. So I've got one plugged in each one. So, and, and it's going to be very, very basic controls, man. Um, but, you know, I just want to see if, if something significantly looks bigger. But guys, so far, like, one thing that's proven here is you don't need dual RAM, man. At least at this moment. Now, if you don't have a CRT and you don't want analog out, then yes, you can go for a dual RAM setup. Or you can go for the new board Sorge has released, which makes swapping between one and the other easy. Sorry, I haven't really looked too much into it. It's not something that I wanted. Right, okay, so we're going to jump now, right? Uh, let's have a look. Hopefully, they won't fall out my, my, my pants. Oh, I've got to do directions and stuff. Nah, I'm going to fail here, man. Um, I can do it, but not simultaneously. Now, press and hold the camera button and use the d-pad to locate him okay let's press them together oh, i think you need to hold them what am i doing okay i'm pressing the y button pressing them together okay oh, i'll probably need to move it around let me try and oh this is going to be tricky now okay can i move oops I'm, i've moved it in opposite directions actually let me go back okay and let me where are you, bud? Okay, I, I've like moved them slightly out of direction as well. So, can look up. Okay, now, let's see if we can... Uh... Okay, so it wants me to do that view stuff. Okay, where are you, bud? There yeah, you go. You up there? Let's try and get it a little bit. Is that, is that similar? That's similar. Here we go. That's that's a little bit more similar. Let's have a look. I found you, man. Guys, this is tough. <laughs> okay, let's load the next game because I, I I ain't doing too much on this, right? Let's now go power slave. Uh, right here we go. And okay I'll, I'll go for the menus so i think i've got it as power slave have i got it it's got a different name as well hasn't it I've got power slave here yeah i have got power slave good stuff Shell, you're not moving yeah i'm definitely you not this? moving but all right so power slave here okay and hopefully everything will boot up together is it possible to sync one do you know what i, I don't know I, I was trying to think about it but i couldn't think of anything alex that would let us kind of have um have two controllers like i've done it before with my mister and on my pc uh, and i've also done it on like obviously separate instances of retro arch open uh, but on the pc it was good there was a, but i was trying to think of how to work it on here so there's a there's a program for the pc called it's called like ds4 to windows or something it lets you it lets you swap uh a DualShock 4 controller and it turns it into an X input controller but what's really good it lets you use the trackpad as a mouse as well but what that does is I connected it wirelessly to an 8-bit though dongle and I used that, that that software to connect it to my PC wirelessly so I was actually controlling something on my mister 
and simultaneously I was controlling it on my PC with, with exactly the same. Uh, so that was kind of interesting, but what uh, that app is only out for PC, it won't work on Mister. So uh, if, you know, I would have to have like a control going through the PC. That was a very, very good way of kind of finding it. Um, you can run stuff by, side by side, but it's very, very difficult to keep stuff in sync because even if you're playing the same game, doing the same stuff, certain things just kind of go out. And I'm talking like Mario Brothers and a lot of the GBA Castlevania games was kind of messing around with that. Guys, if you're just tuning in, this is this is definitely a scientific one. It's probably not going to be as 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 interesting to watch as as the normal live streams but on the left we've got a single sd ram mister on the right hand side we've got a dual ram one now the single sd ram one i bought the de10 nano from mouser uh, all the bits for it uh, it's got one of those plasticky you know the sandwich normal cases everyone's got it's got like a smoky black one i love transparent stuff so um, and all the parts for that i got from uh, mrfpga.co.uk uh, and the double SD RAM Mister is the one I got from uh, Mister Addons, fully complete, all built, and that's the dual RAM one. But you know what? I thought it would be interesting to put this together. So maybe in future, this can lead to some other stuff. But you know, I wanted to try it for now, and 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 it works. It's, it, it's working, right? It's working. It's just I can't play stuff simultaneously. So let's um, let's try and run this now. What's Ron saying? I believe there's controllers you can just sync to two things separately. Ah, uh, okay. Do you know if you've uh, if you know what that is? Let me know. I'll be I'll be interested in that because I think we can uh, like for for example, if I could sync it on this, this it would just work amazingly well, right? So let's try and get into game. Right. Okay. Just just right. Okay. So we're 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 in. And hopefully I can do a fair bit with just. Um, Okay, so I might need to press A here. Well, here we go. Loading times. What's going to get there quicker? Okay, look again. Look at that loading there, right? Single and dual SD RAM exactly the same. So, guys, I am now going to try and attempt to play this together. So, let's just walk up. Okay. Tell you what though guys, this stream's making me talk a lot less than I do in my normal streams. Well, okay, so that's it's a little bit. I mean it could just be my inputs on this, right? Not not really reflective of the core. Like my my actual inputs may not be in sync. Um I don't quite know. So let me I'm trying to get the picture to look the same, but never mind. So I've got the gun here. Uh now I forgot okay, I, I must have to go through here. So let me um let me get to a position where it's fairly accurate, right? Oh, okay, I'm quite far away from that door. So let's um, let's go here. Was it this door? Yeah, it is okay. Now I'm controlling each controller with uh, one hand, guys. So is that about right? Maybe, maybe. My flame looks a little bit bigger on the right. Now it's bigger on there. You know, what, let me just go right against the wall, and let me move it. There we go. Let me strafe it there. Okay, that that's looking fairly accurate. So now let's. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, it's difficult to get it perfect, but I think that's that's definitely more down to me than the actual game itself. So, so we'll look. Wow. Okay, let's. Uh... Oh, it's difficult. I should just uh, let me kill this with let me hold it with two hands and kill it. Come on, that took a lot of shots to kill a little spider. Right, where is that little thing? <laughs> All right, okay. Let's okay. So let's go. Should we blow this up and see what happens? <laughs> okay. I'll check chat in a second, guys. I'm too kind of. Uh, I'm too engrossed in this. It's very, very difficult to have everything exactly the same. I rate people that can, uh, you know, do stuff like that. There's a guy called Desk. I really like his um, his Street Fighter stuff. He's a really nice guy as well. We used to um, we used to actually play in tournaments um, uh, around the time of CVS2 and Third Strike. Guy was very, very good. Had very, very good ex execution even back then, man. Uh, but yeah, he you, you see some of the stuff that he does. It's just sheer. 
it is just it really really is amazing you know to think wow like one person is skilled like that right oh no <laughs> let, let me back down i was just i was getting my bearings <laughs> <laughs> Wicked, uh, super dimensional. How you doing, yo, Richard Hardpill? Happy four two zero. Is it? Oh, it's four two zero today. That's like a that's an MJ day, right? Um, yeah, not yeah, not really for me now. But you know, come on, go down, man. All right, let me go back on here. There we go. Okay. Here's something you guys can clarify. Now, what I'm going to do now is with the sound we're listening to at the moment is from the single SD RAM. Let me bring in the dual SD RAM sound. And is it out of sync? Uh, and you've got both of them playing now, right? You've got both sounds from single and double. I'm going to turn down the single one now. Now you've just got double. And I'm going to turn up the single one again. And so, yeah, I've turned up the single one and I've turned down the double one, right? Just to... Just to mix it up a bit, obviously if you can hear the sounds out, I can't hear it because I think having two of those on, one of them coming from my laptop might be very, very counterintuitive uh, to what I'm kind of trying to do here. It might be too distracting. Um, right, okay, here we are. Okay, got another spider time. Come on, just come in the way of my shot. Nope. <laughs> okay, big explosion. Okay, now, now this side. Okay. Let's now shoot this. Okay, interesting. Okay, let's let's now move on to something else. Someone wanted to. This isn't a, a gen, generally a test of uh, like something that might push single or dual RAM on this, but someone said uh, Street Fighter the arcade game wasn't quite working for them. So let's have a look. I don't know if I've got it in CHD or if I've got it. I think I might have it in CHD. So Street Fighter Two the movie which is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. And you can see the games that I'm kind of gang through here, guys. Guys, I'm, I'm, I'm really finding this confusing. <laughs> like, I kid you not. Right, okay, so I kind of need to... Let's go back out. And let's go into... Okay, sorry. So I need to go here. CHD. Let's make sure I have got Street Fighter the movie. Okay, we're good. Street by uh, the movie. Okay, so we're on here. So this is the first CHD we're loading, guys. And let's do this. Let's press the buttons together. Okay. And so far, my, okay, that's that's weird. It's weird. Okay, maybe maybe on the one on the left isn't gonna boot, so I might have to do a reset. Okay, that's fine. We can we can do a reset. Okay, that's interesting though, right? So we're getting we're having to reset some of the ones on the single SD RAM, but on the dual SD RAM version. They're just, they're booting up straight away. I, I don't know why that is. Often when I've run a game, it's just, it, I have to reset it again. It's something that I've figured out during streams. Let me just have a look at chat. PCN, you mess with the Neo Geo CD core on the Mr. Lately. It works a lot better now. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Okay, the full time speed never freezes. So you can, oh, right. No, that's that's good to know. I haven't. Um, but being, oh, what's happened there? Okay, I'm having to do a reset here now. Right, let's do another reset. Sorry, I was reading chat. So let's go here. We want both of them to just load up, right? Just just load up, people. Um, do you know what? On the Neo Geo CD, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting. I tried it out, but I haven't played it much after that. I know the Sam Samurai Showdown game works on that, uh, but it, it, it doesn't... It, you could only play it at two speeds. So it'll be interesting to know if that actually works with full speed now. Uh, so that's that's interesting. Um, yeah, but no, I haven't visited it. But maybe maybe I can go check it out at some point as well. Um, I've got work at the end of next week and, and my family are back now. So I kind of needed permission to do this stream. But um, I think, to be honest, I think my wife was quite happy to get a break from me since they got back yesterday. So she was like, yeah, go for it, man. Uh, right, okay. I wonder if... Okay, yeah, let's... Okay, it's running. Hopefully there's no... Please don't, I hope I don't get no copyright strikes. I'm always concerned about running games with stuff like this in there. Um, they're like a frame out of sync or something, but they sound like they should be. Okay, Wicked, no, thank you. Thank you, Alex, man, I appreciate it. I can't, I, okay, so that's the, oh, okay, Wicked, the sound. So the sound is a frame out. Nice one, I appreciate that. Interesting to kind of have those there. Um, but like on here, at least to my eye, now everything just seems like it is bang on. So guys, if you're just tuning in, we've got single RAM versus dual RAM. I've got two misters connected. They're running through. And honestly, like they're at least so far, 
like I have not spotted anything that would be like wow Juram has performed better there like they're both pretty much on par right right let's wow <laughs> you know what even if I get a copyright warning for this hopefully you know it'll just be like oh you you know not one of those strikes or anything but uh, you know if it's like you can't monetize it or whatever then yeah cool uh, I, I, I would live with that man we'll, we'll run a bit of Street Fighter movie right oh actually I wonder oh so let's see definitely let's go to arcade mode right we don't want to go to that that thingy mode right so we, it's street mode okay so we don't movie battle street battle it's got to be it's got to be street battle then right there's no arcade mode let's have a look yo uh dave holders how you doing bud and uh hello to everyone just in case i haven't said hello okay so let's just go oh okay let's go let's go guile hopefully the shoulder buttons does something right that'll be that'll be interesting if it does um okay so we're fighting against different characters so that's just that's the that's just the randomness of you know when you start what you get so let's uh, let's see. Maybe it would have been better to start this kind of story Round thing. One. I'm on single oh, three dot zero. Okay. Oh, what's happened there? Look, 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 look at look at single ram. Ah. Okay. So here's a bit of a difference. So someone actually mentioned uh, in my weekly news video, right? They said to me, "Can you check Street Fighter the movie? They've got graphical glitches on there." But here you go. So here's an advantage of dual ram, guys. Uh, we have uh, we have, okay. So where the graphics are broken on the left hand side, and we we can see that, right? They're not broken on the right hand side. So that's that's definitely interesting. So something that with the latest version of the core and just to kind of show you guys the core that i'm using you let me do. let me go to it so as you can see i'm i'm using the the single unstable which was released on the 17th of april and i'm using the same dual uh, ram version of the same core so that's interesting right um i'm sure this is something that will get fixed but at this moment in time okay we have found one advantage of having dual ram over uh, a single ram right okay so yeah street fighter the movie is is broken interesting interesting very very interesting so um let's let's do x-men versus street fighter now since we're doing fighting games that because you know what that is just i absolutely love x oops i love x-men versus street fighter i think i might have to go back in yeah i might have to go back in the other folder that's fine we can do that okay X-Men versus Street Fighter. Okay, here we go. Please load. Don't make me do resets and everything. Okay, that's that's really interesting, guys. So, yeah, something great about dual RAM. Now, I, I, I won't take that as a definitive reason to, you know what, I, I, I have to have dual RAM now because Street Fighter the movie works uh, better on there. I'm sure this is something that will get fixed because Street Fighter the movie was working uh, a lot better. Uh, it was working fine before. Like, I didn't get any graphical glitches. I've definitely played it in videos on stream and even off stream, right? Because, um, you know, my friend came around on Wednesday and, and that's kind of like one of the reasons I bought this other little adapter because I thought if I buy this other little adapter, then even if I'm playing with my friends casually, I can record it and I can use that footage later on maybe for something. But really what I need is I need a proper capture card because with, with Elgato, whatever whatever uh, whatever lag there is, it's very, very minimal, guys. Uh, whereas on this one, I had to mess around with it a little bit. Like the auto features weren't that great. And then I kind of had to set the FPS, but it, it seems to be doing a good job, right? I'm not really, at least, uh, uh, you know, the single... So the single, uh, the single RAM side has got my Elgato uh, HD 60 S Plus, quite a mouthful, uh, and the dual RAM one has just got a cheap, a lit a literally a cheap adapter that goes from HDMI to USB-C, and uh, it can be recognised in OBS, which is video capturing software. But um, these these look on par, right? Everything's on par. It's interesting, right? Um, hopefully we won't find uh, other major issues or anything like that. But that, that was definitely interesting. So whoever left that comment on the weekly news video, thank you for uh, kind of bringing that to my attention because, you know, uh, it's it was it's definitely nice to find something if something does exist. But I'm pretty sure overall the experience is going to be golden between uh, between the two. So again, just negating the need uh, currently for dual RAM. Like th there's no real requirement for it. There's nothing out there that you think, oh, dual RAM is immensely going to benefit.
perfect. Unless obviously you're a tournament Street Fighter movie player that likes to play the Saturn version instead of the arcade version, and you're like, no, I must have dual RAM now because I've got a tournament I need to practice for. Yeah, then then I get it, right? <laughs> I don't think there's anyone out there like that though. Let's have a look. Um, I'm having trouble finding. Oh, okay. Yeah, to be honest, um, Dave, hold us. So if you're talking about uh, BIOSes and stuff, update all will uh, should just grab a BIOS for you that just kind of works. I mean, I've got one from a long time ago, which is um, which is a hacked version of. Um, it's a hacked version. It's a, it's it's a hacked region free. Uh, so it's a hacked BIOS that's region free. It, it just meant at the time where we needed to swap regions you kind of you, you stop swapping regions so again it's really really good how in sync though I'm, I'm quite i'm interested in just running this for a bit longer but um let me do the sound again right just to make sure because if my button presses are like one frame out then you're going to get the sound so currently we've got single ram sound right now i've put both now you've got both right you've got dual ram and a uh, single ram there alex rose if you're still watching let me know if it's like a frame or something now which to be honest might not sound bad right because i remember when djing there was a few records that i had two of and i would place them one beat out so it would kind of have that double kind of effect and, and it worked quite well and i'm hoping this isn't ruining your ears so uh what i'll do now is when a little bit of uh the trouble just kind of starts or oh, sorry not the trouble when a, a little bit of fighting starts a little bit of audio i am going to turn down so what i want to do now is i'm turning down the single sd ram sound so you're only listening to the dual sd ram sound okay let's leave that for a little bit well let's do what video game esoteric goes uh, what is it? Um, go ahead and listen to 45 seconds and let me know what you think. <laughs> uh, okay, right, forget 45 seconds. Right, I'm turning single RAM back up. And now I'm turning dual RAM back down. So, maybe that will give you guys an idea. Haha, <laughs> wicked Alex, good, good you're still here, man. Um, I have... It may have removed the link, Mr. Forum Saturn, but... Oh, okay, may, maybe, maybe. I, I know, um... I know like some of the, the some of the arcades uh, so when you're using update tool um the back end that, that was providing the main roms uh that wasn't working but someone mentioned in my weekly video because i filmed my weekly video yesterday uh they mentioned that it's all back up now and i did actually run update tool and it did fetch the games for me i did try it instead of dragon spirit i tried one of the other games which was um was it dangerous seed one of the new betas from hotego uh, maybe if i get a chance i might um i think at one point there's enough hotego calls out there for me just to do maybe a stream of let's just check out all everything Hotego has brought either to the Mister or the Unlock Pocket. I'll likely do it to the Unlock Pocket because there's a lot of calls that are on there. There's a lot more calls coming as well. But guys, you know I could I could legit watch this wash. <laughs> I could watch this all the time, man. It's it's um it's it's darn good. Here you go, LL. Someone's uh, yeah, wicked LL. So helping people there. There you go. If you put that in um a Google search, it will likely um, it will likely get you to somewhere nice. Right, guys, any suggestions for any games? I know, um, I think LL said some. Let me see if I can find them. Um, just going back in chat, but you shouldn't be able to see what I'm doing here. Uh, oh, okay, I missed quite a bit of chat as well. Um, yeah, Alex, if you, if you get on that uh, controller, then yeah, wicked. Very, very interested in one controller that can pair to two devices. That would be fantastic, man. Especially if it can do it wired. If it's got two wires that go out, superb. Ooh, actually, one of those arcade sticks with multi-PCBs. I don't ex exactly know how they work, to be honest. Okay, let's go Nights into Dreams then, right? Um, let's go Nights into Dreams next. So let's, let's check that. And let's go... Oh, I should look at this one. Okay, so they, they, I've probably got a few extra games on one of them that I haven't updated on one. That's why when I'm pressing it left, it's kind of going to different games. But that, that's fine. That's fine. I think I've probably got more on the single RAM because I use that more. So that's Nights into Dreams. Nights into Dreams. Nights into Dreams. We're in the same one. Okay, so three, two, one. Let's go. Oh my god, that was sub that was subconscious from uh, R-Type Leo, guys. If you haven't played R-Type Leo, uh, play it now. It's um, it's available on your Mister right now, and hopefully it'll be coming out for the Unlock Pocket soon as well, right? Let's give this a reset. Okay, all right. Okay, wow, guys, what a nerdy stream! Like I I'm telling you, right? Like if you said to me, like. 20 years ago or something that this is what i would be doing in the future i would not have believed you 
I don't regret it. I enjoy what I'm doing. As nerdy as this is, it's always a it's always a question that's asked, and it's always something that I've wondered. But I've I have I've never done them side by side. So you know what? It's 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 definitely interesting to do. Um, I feel like the two screens look a little bit different. The one on the right item looks a little bit bigger. Let's see. Maybe it is out, or maybe that's just placebo. A lot of the time, I'm I'm thinking placebo stuff. Meaning, oh, here you go, wicked. Hello, you know, hello. Thank you very much for helping people in there, man. I absolutely love it when uh, when I can help people without obviously breaking any kind of copyright infringements. Um, but uh, yeah, if I can help people, what I really like though is when people on the channel help one another, right? If someone says, um, "I'm really into this." Can I get some help and other members of the community help? It's, it's really, really nice. There's a lot of people that help over uh, on my Discord as well, which is really, really awesome. So it's it's nice to have good people around. You know what? Let me do a shameless plug. <laughs> we have got merch. Oh, no. <laughs> I've got the layers a little bit different, so they're not quite showing up all perfect. So let's have a look. All right, guys. All right. There is some uh, there is some PCN merch available. Let me, let me close that down now. Uh, I didn't really plan to show that, so the layers aren't there. So let's... Let me press start on both. Right, let's have a look. Are you taking... Here we go. Okay. Pressing start. Oh, man. You know what? You can play this game with just a D-pad, right? So let's see. Let's see how well I can do. Am I, am I hearing like a sound issue here? Yeah, there's definitely a sound issue. Yeah. Let's... Um, let me go now. Right. While that sound's broken, I'm going to turn this down, right? So that's a single RAM sound. Let's see if it's doing the same thing on dual RAM. Well, you guys are going to have to let me know. But based on what I'm seeing in OBS, yeah, it looks like it's doing the same thing. So let me spare your ears a little bit. There's an issue here with the sound, clearly. I'll have it up a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit. We're talking like minus, minus, 40, minus 43 decibels or some, somewhere there about. Let's have a look. Okay. Okay, right. Okay, are we... <laughs> Guys, I was never one for this game, right? I'm just moving it right, that's all I'm doing. I'm holding down right on the D-pad. And that is legit all I'm doing. Let's see as far as it goes. Okay, we've reached the limit of right. Okay, now let's go left. Simultaneously on both controllers. And it looks very, very much so in sync. And the sound seems to be okay as well. I've got it turned down a bit. Wow, okay, that is that is very, very much exactly the same, guys. Wow, okay, it's looking legit the same to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not following you, Arrow. As long as you let me move and do stuff, I'm, I'm kind of happy. <laughs> okay, now listen to the Arrow. Let me, let me kind of go up now, see where it takes me. Okay, interesting. There's no differences, right? Absolutely no differences. Seems to be exactly the same. I'm just holding up, and that's all I'm doing. And it looks like I'm, I'm, I'm going to approach the edge of the world, right? All right, interesting. Might be a frame or two. Right, let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Is it? Is it? A, no, it's, it's out a little bit now, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Wicked guys. Any any suggestions? If you want anything here, we can run it. We can uh, we can definitely run it. But that, that was interesting with with nights. Let me um put the sound up a bit because the sound kind of went all right. It was only a little bit dodgy around that part. So now let's go here. Um. Feel free to get your uh, get your requests in, guys. But in the meantime, I will. Uh, Panzer Dragoon USA. Okay, let's uh, let's run with this, guys. I kind of felt like I pressed the double RAM button like a fraction before the other one, so it might be a little bit ahead. No, okay, it looks yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe who knows? Let's have a look. I really don't want to. Oh, actually no. Maybe we can run the game on this together. And you're going to be flying for a bit, right? Even though we're going to be getting shot and everything. It should be, it should kind of be good, right? So let's go. Right, righty. Okay. 
yes a year unit zero one and two have been activated guys uh, if you're just tuning in uh welcome welcome to the channel we are um we're testing man you know the question of it is is dual ram better than single ram uh you know does does is there any benefit especially with the sega saturn core which which has builds right so whenever whenever like a new nightly is released for the saturn whenever srg releases a new version of the core right it is always uh, he always releases a single ram version and a dual ram version so uh, i've always kind of ran them separately i've kind of more favored doing stuff on single ram because that's what most people have that's what i had originally when i got my mister uh, but i've got the, i've got this uh, a second mister as well right so it's it's kind of nice to be able to run both of them uh, stream spoiler alert there is no difference at all you know what vampire msx yeah there is no difference man there is no difference this really is and i said it from the beginning a fairly pointless stream however if you did come by earlier and you saw us playing street fighter the movie it glitches there's graphical glitches on single ram but those glitches are not present on dual ram so ha there you go there is a difference <laughs> uh, but okay but yeah this is looking good Shall we, shall we let me press start and just kind of get away from this and let's fly around a little bit yo snk kev my bro how you doing man we are we are doing science today man we are doing science so let me i'm literally just spamming the a button right that's all i'm doing i'm doing nothing else now the frequency of the a button might be a little bit different so that might change the outcome somewhat but I am trying to press them like in sync as much as I can. I wish if there were, I should really turn the auto fires on this. I tend not to use it so much. Okay, it's all looking good. Single ram, dual ram, Panzer Dragoon. It could be interesting to see. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to press anything now. I want to see if both the dragons die at the same time, right? Because that will be. That would be interesting, right? <laughs> yeah, wicked nice, S and K K. Well, you study hard, man. You know, you work hard, you study hard. It's good to chill, right? And that's kind of like what I'm doing now, right? Streaming is definitely, definitely chilling for me. It's I, I like, I like, I like to chill and stream. How long have we been streaming for? All right, 42 minutes. I think I might. This might not be a massive stream. I might, I might only do it for maybe like an hour and a half. It was. I was just curious about trying this out, but I'm looking at the stuff here and. Guys, it looks it looks accurate. Like nothing nothing is going out, right? It is just it is just there. But let's see when I die. Everything looks exactly the same, right? You know, timings aren't out by like a millisecond. If anything's out, it's because of it, it may be because my button presses were out. But everything just looks bang on, man. So absolute bang on, wicked. Better let poor Claw the update spreadsheet. Uh, also, both new modules RAM. Oh, okay. So in my single, I've got 2.8 RAM. That's what was around when I bought it from Mr. FPGA um, UK. But in all honesty, what I've got in 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 the pork shop, Mister, I honestly don't know what it is I've got in there. I'll have to ask him to find out what it is. What he what was in that dual RAM at the time? Um, yeah, I don't I don't actually know. Uh, so when did I get it? I get it. I got it last year. Was it September, October, December? I can't remember. It was last year sometime that I got it. Maybe around September time. Yes, it was around September time I got it. So whatever, will, I guess whatever was current around then, I would have got. But yeah, um, I don't know if, if you wanna, if you wanna. Okay, it's one little different. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that'll be interesting to update, but I, I think that's something that will get fixed up in in the next update, right? Because we've had. Um, We've had Street Fighter the movie running absolutely fine, right? It ran it ran superb uh, when I when I played it before on streams with single SD RAM, but obviously something in the latest version of the core has actually broken it. So, uh, Vampire, is there a game that you would like to see, bud? Let me let me know. Let me know if there's a game you want to see. Um, what other games have trouble with single RAM? To be honest, Dave, I, I don't think there, there's no overall. There's no advantage of having dual RAM over single, right? That Street Fighter movie thing that really is an anomaly that will likely just get fixed in the next update because it was working before. It, it wasn't like it never worked and it always had issues. It was working fine on single RAM. It's just someone actually pointed out in uh, this week's news video. If I could check. Um, 
if I could check to see if Street Fighter um, is broken because it's broken for them. And that's why we ran it, but obviously we ran them both simultaneously. So whatever problem has occurred, has only occurred on the single RAM version. But again, it's, it's not a reason, it's, not, it's definitely not a reason that I would go, yeah, I need dual RAM now because of that. You know, if we see something like major and you think, okay, cool, you know, we can, we can run with that. Um, but yeah, Vampire, if, you, if you've got a game, bud, let me run one anyway. Uh, but if, if I do see a request from you, I'll, uh, I'll go for it. And that goes for anyone, really, guys. I'm not limiting it to Vampire just because I like him. Um, any, well, I like most of you guys, to be honest. Most of you guys are pleasant. So, um, it'll be, yeah. It's any 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 kind of request go okay no game requests I'm heading out so no worries man well wherever you're going have a have a good day have a good weekend bud let's see let's see what else have we got oh, road rash my um oh Resident Evil I remember was it previous versions right where there was no input I think that got sorted out Marvel versus Street Fighters uh, no worries man uh let's do that let's do that now because um right. Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter, and then I want to I want to check Resident Evil as well. So let's have a look. Okay, uh, Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. Marvel superheroes versus Street Fighter. Here we go. Definitely not going to try and play this, but we'll let the the demo and everything run, and hopefully it won't ask us for a reset or anything. We can just uh, roll with it. But definitely an interesting an interesting stream to do, right? <laughs> <laughs> guys, you know what? All, all of you guys that are here are just as bad as me. You're all damn nerds, man. And I'm and I'm one of you guys. <laughs> this is how I'm spending my Saturday. This is how we're all spending our Saturday, guys. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with it. We're the cool kids now. <laughs> okay, so let's see how this kind of runs. So this is for you, my bro, uh, SNK, um, SNK Kev. Oh, John Clark, how you doing, man? Just came to the stream. What have been the results so far? Well, the results have been there is absolutely no difference. There's only been one exception, which is uh, Street Fighter the movie has graphical glitches on single RAM, but it doesn't have any graphical glitches on dual RAM. So that's the only thing that we found. And that was down to someone actually... Um, mentioning uh they they had graphical glitches uh on the game on the weekly news show and i, and I kind of remember there and i wrote i only wrote three games on my notes two that robbie gave me from the mr fpga discord which was power slave and burning rangers saying those push the system we've tried those and someone uh, uh, uh this user, i'm really sorry i can't remember their name a viewer of the channel uh, actually mentioned a game over on a weekly news video saying you know that about street fighter the movie and i was like okay we're, we're kind of going to check that out and we did, and, and sure enough, it's a single RAM thing, it's not a dual RAM thing at the moment, but guys, that's something that's going to get fixed. Street Fighter movie has worked before. Now, if you decide, yes, that is a factor for you to get dual RAM, then that's completely up to you. You know, I'm just showing you what we're seeing in this stream. You're discovering stuff at exactly the same time I'm discovering it. Actually, no, not at exactly the same time. I think I've got it on low latency, so I'm discovering it maybe two to three seconds before you guys, before it goes live on YouTube. So, you know... It is, it is, it is good. But yeah, this, this is in sync, man. This is, this is working. Single RAM, dual RAM. Even X Men versus Street Fighter that had issues previously that would always crash. It just runs. It runs really, really good. Uh, but yeah, I really, do you know what? I, I dig the Saturn, man. The, the, the CPS2 games on there, they're all, they're all good, man. They're all very, very good, right? They're very, very good versions to play. I kind of wish I had a Saturn when I was younger, but. I've always liked fighting games. I've always been into like the Street Fighter franchise more than anything else. Right? Okay, it might be it might actually be a frame out. It, it looked like look like something just kind of popped when 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 the light changed. But it's very very yeah. It looks like the single RAM is. Uh, I must have pressed the button a little bit faster. It seems to be like when I'm get, when I'm seeing the black, I'm seeing it a little bit quicker. But that's uh, that. There's a few factors that could be here. I don't think it's down to core because the timings of the core seem to be exactly the same. I think on the on the on the dual RAM or the double RAM, right? Actually, I should have put dual there <laughs> instead of double. Um, so. Uh, on the dual RAM, I'm using a very, very cheap, just the HDMI to USB-C adapter. So it's not quite the quality of the Elgato. However, for the price that I've paid, I have to say it's actually doing a really good job. Um, it doesn't look like it's it's losing frames. It looks like it's running at 
you know the full 60 however i can't say that because when i'm looking at it on obs it's right what, what i'm seeing and what i'm playing with is actually 30 frames a second because when what in your obs preview from what i understand it doesn't preview at 60 fps even if it's recording in that yeah it's definitely yeah one one's one's out a little bit but guys that's not the core that's uh, that's my button press or the capturing equipment so let me go resident evil now um and because i really did want to see that but, uh, you know, you guys take priority, especially SNK Kev, who's just, just a really, really nice guy. Uh, right, let's have a look. Uh, Resident Evil. Let's go Resident Evil. And let's see let's see if there's a difference here of any kind, right? Oh, <laughs> I pressed it like it was going to load. All right, let's do this. Okay, I've tried to make it, so I'm pressing it at exactly the same time. But let's see how it goes. Um... Yeah, interesting. Hey guys, uh, welcome to the stream. If you're just joining in, we're testing single versus dual RAM, an argument as old as Mr. Itself. <laughs> I was going to say as old as man itself, but that really wouldn't have made sense, right? Let's now go. Let's give it a reset and hopefully they'll both work. Um, wicked. Right, let's see. I'm kind of going to start this. And I'm going to see, I remember like losing input. That might have been fixed though. That was a few streams ago, right? So let's. Uh... Okay, let's go. I think it was uh, the Jill one, right? That it was Jill that I couldn't move. It probably happens to Chris as well, but I more specifically remember it with uh, with Jill in this game, and and just just not having uh, just not having access to uh, inputs. It just you just couldn't move. Right? Okay, that's interesting. Has that it? Look. Oh, okay. Right. So that, I think that might have been my capture card there. Um, did you see that it kind of froze in Raccoon City? But the the the, the double ram. I think I'm gonna pick up another Elgato. Uh, if I see one cheap. I'll pick one up. It's just this, this HDMI adapter is very, very convenient. It's small. It doesn't take up a lot of space. Guys, my space is very, very limited that I uh, that I work in. Like, I might post a picture up of uh, what I use as a studio, and you guys will understand when I say I'm very, very limited for space. I even I even turn away free stuff uh, because I've got nowhere to keep it. Um, so any any stuff that I take when I'm when I'm offered something for the channel is something that I would genuinely gen genuinely use, and I would even consider buying with my own money if it's something that you know sometimes i have taken stuff like and i've given it to my cousin um after reviewing it or doing whatever you know whatever i agreed to on the channel with it um i think one of them was the power up grips um wasn't really too interested in it for my analog pocket but my cousin really liked it and i know he wanted one so i got one in i reviewed it. it was actually a good uh, good grip it was just bloody expensive man it's like 46 pound for the grip then you pay delivery and that you know like a, a something that really should be like five five pounds 10 pounds maximum on aliexpress you know because it's not widely available you're buying it off uh, you know someone like 3d prints it now fair due to them i've got nothing against that it's everyone's choice how much they value this item and how much you want to pay for it they do actually sell a few but you know i've always said and even in the review that i said the biggest uh, the biggest downside of it was was the price you know but if if you're going to pay for it and that's something you want you know if you like your analog pocket that much i generally hate um cases the only one i use them for is for my 3ds and that was uh after i'd i'd, I'd really done like 500 hours on monster hunt i kind of wish i did that sooner uh but yeah Demon Saturn is the only active dev core with dual RAM, midway wire unit, uh, reason for dual RAM. Yeah, so, um, yeah, midway wire unit, um, as far as, yeah, so that's, that's one of the ones that uses dual RAM, but it doesn't have sound. But yeah, active development, you're correct. Oops, sorry, I tapped one, okay, instead of two. Okay, so we've got, we've got inputs. I can't do these tank controls anymore, you know. <laughs> What is this? What is it? Blood. Jill, Go on, Barry. See if you can find any other clues. 
I'll be examining this. And do you know what, LL? You never know in future there might be additional calls. There may be uh, there may be uh, you know additional arcade calls that may may require dual RAM. Like you know, we we don't know. Like I don't know. I'm not I'm not a techie guy, man. I'm 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 just your guy that likes games. So I definitely talk a lot of nonsense when it comes to like technical stuff. I've kind of learned it's probably best for me not to say uh, stuff from a technical perspective because you know what? I just ain't that tech guy. A lot of my friends, a lot of people I speak to, they really really know their stuff, right? Uh, but guys, this looks bang on. It's working. Controls are working. Inputs are there. Anyone come up with another suggestion yet? No, in that case, I will find the suggestion, guys. Let's now have a look. Okay. Let's try and find, let me try and find something on this side, then I'll match it on the other side. Something that will push it and something that might even... Um... Good, okay, let me have a look. Oh, I really like this game. Let's, let's run with this, guys. If you've not played this game... Play Time Volcan series. It honestly, like, arguably this might even be my favourite game on the Sega Saturn. Let's see. Just really, really good. Everything about this game. I was speaking about this uh, on Discord yesterday, on the Mr. FPGA Discord, and, and someone said exactly what I was thinking. I just didn't type it, which was when, you're, when your ship gets busted and you go on a bike, there's a danger sound that comes up. And it's very, very annoying because it's the same sound. It just keeps coming up again and again and again. This doesn't get your copyright strike, right? So let's watch this cartoon. It's fantastic. So from what I understand... Some of the characters here are from Tetsunoko, right? The Tetsunoko, uh, you know, Marvel... Well, sorry, not Marvel vs. Capcom. You had that Tetsunoko vs. Capcom game because uh, when my friend was around on uh, Wednesday, um, I showed him this game. I was like, look, you need to see this game, right? It's it's one of the best games I've ever played. Love this game on the Saturn. And uh, he was like, I know these characters. It's bugging me. It's bugging me. And as we kept playing it and he kept checking it out, he was like, yep, I know that character. That character's from Tetsunoko. Um, which is a bunch of animes, right? Cartoons and everything. So this is very, very interesting. It's a very, very good game. In fact, you know what? I wonder if I can actually play uh, two versions of it with... Uh, in fact, yeah, I can move it around on the controller uh, without using the fire button. And we can just see how long we last. And just to see exactly how much in, in sync it is. Now, it might be out by a frame or two. That's usually down to my button press, guys. But uh, guys, if you're just, if you're just uh, arriving on the stream, then absolutely welcome. We're going, we're testing single RAM versus dual RAM. You can see it, it's, uh, it's labeled up there on the screen. Uh, left hand side single, right hand side double. And uh, yeah, we're running with it, right? And so far there's been, there's only been one difference and that's something that will definitely get fixed. And that's Street Fighter 2, the movie, the game. It had a graphical glitch on single SD RAM, but not on dual SD RAM. Uh, but everything else has been exactly the same. So if you're if you're deciding on buying a Mister, you know there, there's no reason at this current moment to get dual RAM. However, anything can happen in the future, right? You can uh, something can happen in the future which may require uh, which, which which may require like dual RAM, right? Uh, so Tetsunoko product will claim copyright audio. Um, do you know what? I haven't. I've, I've ran this a few times, I'm sure. But you know what? Let's let's press this anyway. Uh, but you know what? If if they do. Uh, YouTube gives you an option where it can you can cut out so my voice will still be in there but it'll cut out the copyright audio I'll, I'll just use that to get that done because I've actually for my live streams you've got three options right for uh, for monetizing it right you've got um, you've got very aggressive where you get lots of adverts you've got balance which is default and you've got conservative which is hardly any ads so you guys really shouldn't be getting many ads so I, I choose conservative on that and then obviously if, if people get adverts um, on the replay it gets monetized but uh, a three hour stream, for example, with the same number of views as a, as a 10 minute video will likely make like 20% of the money the video does. I don't know. YouTube just doesn't favor live streams, but I have um, I, I have like a big following compared to, sorry, I, I wouldn't call it a big following, but within my niche, I would say it's, it's a decent following. Uh, but compared to Twitch, where I've got less than 100 uh, followers, uh, on, on here I've got a lot. So yeah, I, I, I just prefer doing it on their money. But don't get me wrong, I, I like I like money. I, I, all of us could use more money, right? So that would be it. Would be fantastic to to 
make more and more money out of it so I can, you know, really like, I'd love to give up my day job for this. Can't see it happening, but you know what? I'm gonna keep working hard at something I enjoy doing, right? Uh, and if five years time it becomes very, very big, wicked. If not, you know, if it supplements my normal nine to, nine to five job, absolutely awesome. But it's not always about the money. I, I really do enjoy the live streams. The live streams are a lot of fun. This one's, this one's interesting, right? It's not the most fun one. Let's see, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna try and play with two controllers. This. Oh, oh, I never knew you could actually, you could actually roll left and right. Wow. I never pressed the shoulder button. I've been playing this game for ages. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to hold down back. Yeah, so enemies are kind of different, right? We've got different bullets. Things are on the screen. Different. Again, guys, you've you, you got to try this game. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to play this a little bit on this side. <laughs> okay, wow, okay, kind of died around the same time. Right, what have we got? Um, okay. Oh, okay, the, uh, the opening video for Burning Rangers hangs up for me. This, that, normal. Um, well, Burning Rangers ran, ran for me just now on um, on both, on single RAM and, and, and dual RAM. It, it ran without an issue, got into game. Obviously, couldn't play it that much. We had to jump around and follow the guy because I've got two controllers here and it's a little bit difficult to uh, to do that. So, uh, but yeah, Burning Rangers ran absolutely fine. Like, no issues whatsoever. You know what? Let me go. I want to go in the CHD folder now and just have a look at a few things. Okay, um, what's Area 51? Oh, what, Simply Austin, thank you very much, man. That's very kind of you, dude. Super, super kind. Right, um, let's now run with, um, uh, let's run with this, right? What we're we doing, Area 51. Okay, hopefully I've pressed it simultaneously. Absolutely wicked. Um, does it look good? Yeah, let's let's see retro uh, menu. Cause I've been I've kind of been all right with it. I was a little bit worried with uh, Time Balkan series, but um, yeah, it's so far it's kind of been all right. Like I've not had a copyright warning or whatever it is where they claim it, uh, but it's been yeah. It's been alright, but if it, if something does happen, I'll take I'll take measures accordingly. To be honest, I don't even mind. Even if some of these I can't monetize them because of stuff in there, I'll I'll just leave them up there, man. Like I said, I really do enjoy doing a live streams. They're just yeah, they're just a lot. They're a lot of fun. They're a lot of fun, especially compared to making videos, right? Like the weekly video, guys. Like honestly, don't get me wrong. I, I like doing it, but it is a bit of a chore. Uh, it can. It, it sucks up like the best part of my day. And once I get it done, I'm so happy. I'm like wicked. It's done. I don't have to. Um, yeah, I don't have to like kind of get on with that for another week. It's, it's become a big part of the channel, so I do like doing it. But yeah, it definitely takes a bit of time. So sometimes I have to cut stories out, especially from the random and retro stuff, because it's just going to take me too long to put it in there. So obviously I keep all the FPGA gaming related stuff. In in there that's fine uh but any other stuff i can't yeah but it takes so long to edit yeah to, to be honest retro oh uh, you know what Re retro maniac os 32 uh, 32x i don't actually mind if if that happens yeah it takes a few hours you go in it gives you the option that it's currently in beta but do you want to remove that you want to remove the entire clip or do you want to just remove uh, the, the entire sound or do you just want to remove the copywritten sound now it does make the audio seem a little bit funny but you know what it's it's something that i, I can live with that right um because we kind of half know wow man <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that good dude looks cool. Uh, Area 51, was this a light gun game? Actually, that would be interesting. Uh, right, let's have a look here. Wicked, uh, right, arcade. Was this a light gun game? It probably is a light gun game, right? Okay. Again, even 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 if everything's a frame or two out, guys, remember that's going to be that's kind of down to me. Um, and pressing the button, like it, everything's running at the same speed. So if it's a frame out, it's gonna remain a frame out. If anyone's in the middle, I'll shoot them. But that's it. <laughs> okay, I've reloaded. Come on. <laughs> got you in the head. Okay, so I got I got both of them with. Uh, yeah, so two controllers, got them just... <laughs> I shot that helicopter right in, the, right in the middle. Come come in the middle, bud. Come on, come on. Reload. 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 
Okay, I shot a helicopter. I didn't have, even have to move the controller. I just had to, um, just had to tap tap. <laughs> he was jumping for me. Come on, let me blow the boxes up. I kind of, I kind of record. I think this game was in the arcade. I'm pretty sure I saw this in the arcade. Wow. Okay. I thought I completed a the level there for a second. <laughs> Come on, come into, come into my crosshairs, guys. Oh, come on. And, okay, over. Right, okay. That was pretty cool. Really ended. I do like some of the games that are... <laughs> Sorry, Simply Austin, I just read your thing to compensate for as No, thank you, man. Much, much appreciated. Uh, definitely, definitely appreciated. Let's uh, have a look at... Let's have a look at this. Um, right, okay. Ooh, um... Let's go Batman Forever, the arcade game. This is this game is really, really terrible, right? But hopefully, it's got like... Oh, okay. Um, I think I need to do a reset. And then it hopefully should load up with Batman. Now, it's really weird with CHD sometimes. It just kind of does that. So let's have a look. Hey, guys. Welcome. If you're just tuning into the stream, single RAM versus dual RAM. Left side, single uh, right side dual RAM, even though it says double RAM, we can call it double RAM, right? Because dual double means the same thing, right? Okay, so now let's um, let's get some Batman going. <laughs> okay. Okay, what's this? Test hardcore four times for it's a heavy Saturn game. Wicked Mar, we will do that next. Mar feels weird calling you Mar. That's what I call my, that's what I call my actual mother. I call her Ma. <laughs> okay, look, as we can see again, it might be down to my button presses, but the press start, it's not exactly in sync, right? Let's see what the button presses do. Let's just start this. And let's just walk through and die and uh, see what happens. But yeah, test hardcore, hardcore four by four. Hopefully I've got that on here. I really do hope I do. I haven't got like the full set. I've got like 250. And I may, I might even have like 300 games now. I've got a whole bunch. To be honest, it eats up most of this micro SD card. And uh, yeah, I'm not really one of a. I'm not a guy that has lots of stuff on a network. Like I, I don't really hoard stuff. Uh, eight 16 bit ROMs. Yes, I've got all of them. But CD based systems generally, I kind of just choose what I want to play. But um, you know, for the sake for the sake of uh, doing YouTube, I've actually grabbed the whole whole loads more games than I would usually have because people like seeing them uh, let's have a look so shoulder doesn't do anything okay I'm gonna move I'm gonna do the same try and do the same button presses so okay okay he jumps there <laughs> okay that's that's looking fairly good okay it's, it's looking a little bit different right okay <laughs> Let's see if you can grab him again. Ah, headbutted him. Okay, let's do that hardcore 4x4. Four four. Hardcore, I really do hope I, I've got it, right? It might be, um, you know what? I'm not sure if I have. Let's check. No, I'm really sorry, dude. I don't actually have that. Sucks, because that would have been something good to have a look at. Um, what else is there? Let me go back out on this one. Back into bin Q. All right, let's find the game. Let's find something that's going to be... Oh, yeah, someone said earlier Sega Rally, right? So let's do Sega Rally on both of these. Okay, Sega Rally Championship. Oops. All right. Okay, here we go. Uh, hello. Uh. Yeah, do you know what? that's a good way that uh, one game, one ROM thing is is really really good. I've just got I've got stuff all over the place. I mean, to be honest, like I always say, um, the main thing that I like. Uh, the Mr. Four is arcade games. That's that's first and foremost. Everything else is second. However, like out of all the console cores, I have to say the Saturn one's my favourite. And again, it kind of just goes back to the arcade thing, doesn't it? Um, 
uh, because there's a lot of arcade games on here, right? Uh, okay, oh, it was Simply Austin. Sega Touring Car Struggled on uh, Original Hardware. Oh, I don't know if I've got that. Let's have a look. Let's have a look while this runs. Okay, so... Have I got... Oh, I have got it. Okay, cool. Let's, let's go straight into that then. Um, right, here we go. Let's have a look. So what's, what's the main... I really like Sega Rally, by the way. I really do like that game. It's something that I started playing on streams. It's not something that I ever thought I would like, but I had to try it. I use a 2 terabyte SSD. Yeah, you know what? That's, that's decent. I've actually got a few SSDs lying around. And I've got a terabyte and a, a 500, but yeah, two terabyte one would be would be decent. Maybe at some point I'll do it. At the moment, I've got so many different uh, micro SD cards, I'm kind of good with it, you know? Okay, let's have a look at this over here. Yep, let's let's go. Let's just just get us into game, bud. Okay. Let me see. Right, if I put if I figure out accelerator now, where we are, can now nah, it's gonna be too difficult. I'm gonna try and be like, oh, what's going on here? Guys, you, you seeing what I'm seeing? Okay, there was there was a glitch there. Oh, sorry, I pressed that one a little bit later. Let me. Um, I didn't press them simultaneously, right? Um, but there was a glitch on the dual RAM one, right? There was something a little bit different uh, than on the single RAM one. You know, what? let me see if I can restart the race. Yeah, let's let's restart, right? So. Okay, let's. Okay, there we go. Let's now have a look. And I'm just going to hold down B at the beginning. But there was a little bit, there was something off on the right. I know it was, it's okay now. Okay. Whether that was an odd one, I'm just holding down. Yeah, I'm, I'm holding down um, accelerate. That's, that's all I'm doing. I can't really move the D pad around. Again, it looks very, very similar, right? Just holding the two things down. Let's see. Let's see if we can make this race like this, right? Just by holding down accelerate and nothing else. Because good thing is, when you hit a wall, it kind of seems to steer you right, which is uh, which is very, very good, right? <laughs> yeah. Love it. I hate it when you bump into stuff and, you know, that's, that's kind of like the end. Um, but over here, we're racing. Probably not going to get the best time, right? I don't know. Oh. The qualifying heat is over. Did I qualify? Okay. Wicked. Let me have a look at chat before we go into the next one. My dream would be Model 2 Core with arcade version of Sega Rally Virtua Fighter 2 Daytona USA. Uh, so V, v Mika, v Mika uh, who, whoever knows, man, um, whoever knows, right? It, when, when more powerful FPGAs that are that are on route, maybe something like that will happen. Belmont, hey, man, how are you? Uh, I am doing well today, my bro. I am doing well. Uh, 4C, how are you doing? Difference is mainly sound from what I read. Okay. Do you know what I will do is we've been listening to the single SD RAM sound. I can run both, but I don't know if you guys are going to get clangy sounds, so I've not run both of them. But what I will do, let's do it for experimentation. But guys, do me a favor. Uh, I'm going to run the sound for both of them. Let me, let me just leave that a second. I'm going to put the sound up, right? So now you're going to get the sound from dual and single RAM at exactly the same level, around minus 35 um, decibels. If the sound's really, really bad, tell me, and I'll, I'll just use one source for sound. I can only hear one of them. I can only hear my single SD RAM, but, um, you know, it's likely going to be out a frame or two down to, like, my, my individual button presses and everything. But right now, guys, you're hearing sound from both sources, right? Um, both sources, you've got the sound playing. Now, I understand that could result in a bit of noise and a very bad viewing experience for you. If it does, let me know in chat. And what I'll do is, I think, uh, as we've mainly listened to uh, the single SD RAM uh, Mr. Sound, now let's listen to the dual SD RAM Mr. Sound, right? Let's just, why not, right? Why not? Let, let's, let's, let's let that have a little bit of a turn. But it's, um, this is pretty much bang on, you know, wherever it's, wherever it's like out a little bit, it's obviously down to button presses, other scenarios. But look, the timings are, timings are bang on, guy. Bang on. Absolutely bang on. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, 
Right, so what's the sound like? Differences mainly, okay, sorry. So guys, is there, is a, so you, I, I've got both sound sources like on, right? So hopefully it's not a bad experience for you guys. But yeah, that was, uh, that kind of looked all right, man. And that ran okay uh, on both, like no issues there. So now let's go and let's see. I like games with um, with decent kind of intros. Shall we? No, let's see. Oh, Silhouette Mirage. I've got a translation of this as well. Maybe I didn't put it on here. I can't remember. Uh, Sky. All right, let me find the game and then I'll match it up. Well, let's let's run Stellar Assault, right? Which is a translation that didn't initially work, but obviously with recent updates, it started working. It started working a while ago, to be honest. Now let's uh, let's run with this. Okay, and let's see if that runs. Uh, and also, guys, if uh, if you're in the stream and you're enjoying it, pressing that like button really does uh, help out the channel. And if you really hate it, press that unlike button. But uh, yeah, it would be appreciated if uh, if you press the like, right? That that helps a lot more. Uh, let's see. Okay, so here we are. Here we are. I even forgot what we. Oh yes, that's it. Um, stellar assault. So this is this is interesting, guys. I kind of like these uh, Sky games, right? From from being a little kid playing like games like Elite, um, I really like like Rogue Squadron. I was actually playing it on emulation the other day, the GameCube version, right? Uh, Rogue Squadron Two, Rebel Assault, uh, or Rogue Leader, whatever it's called. Um, so. Uh, that is, um, yeah, that's really, really good. Like, I like that a lot. And yeah, GameCube emulation has actually gotten a lot better because I remember uh, Rogue Squadron on the GameCube. It was never, ever emulated perfectly well, but it is now. Also, guys, just to kind of point out, if all of a sudden you get a flash of uh, some writing, I don't know what it is. It, it may be Chinese. Um, it looks like Eastern writing anyway. That's just the, the, the capture card. When nothing's running, it comes on. I've seen it flash on screen a couple of times. So that's kind of... Um, yeah, you might get that on the dual RAM, but I, I feel like at a certain point, if I see, if I see an Elgato capture card going for like a good price, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna grab one. Um, even the one I use, the one I use, it does, it does 4K at 30 frames a second, but I never use 4K, so I actually I could could have bought a cheaper one. Um, I just use uh, 1080p at 60 FPS. That's my, that's my target, and that's that's pretty much everything I've done on the channel so far. Uh, all right. Let's have a look. So guys, we've still got both sounds. Is it sounding okay or is it sounding echoey or any, anything a little bit funny? Because I can't hear the dual sound, right? I can only hear the single sound. Uh, I think having both of them on might might actually end up making the stream worse because my mic would pick up some of it. Even though I've got really good filters on, it kind of does block everything out. How long have we been streaming for now? Oh, one hour 16, okay. Not um, not bad. Let's see, let's, let's go into a dogfight. Let's try and launch this now. This is a good game, man, and a big shout out to like the the translation community for actually translating this. If you're into um, you know, if you like like elite and those kind of sci-fi games, mind you, there's no trading and stuff in here. You're just kind of like firing stuff and and you know shooting shooting stuff like dogfights and whatever. But it's it's good. It's very very good. I have to say. The United Nations Space Forces. First, first line of oh look, I can see Uranus there. <laughs> on the left, yeah? Oh, I can see two Uranuses. Come on, let me skip this. Hopefully it has. Wicked, alright. Mission start. Oh no, have I got to watch it all? No. The damage is extensive. A few more of these strikes in the okay, that's that kind of sucks. I was pressing B, hoping that it skipped everything, but uh, it hasn't. Guys, what's the sound like? Um, is it okay? Because you're listening to both sources now. You're listening to the sound from the single and the dual RAM simultaneously. Um, if it's if it's off and it's annoying, please tell me. And what I'll do is we'll only listen to the dual RAM uh, sound for now because we've mainly been listening to the single SD RAM Mister's uh, sound uh, game sound. For the, for the vast majority um, of the stream, so we can we can at the end if it's if it's very very much out of sync and it's it's annoying because you know when sounds out of sync and it's clangy. Trust me, I know. Uh, when I was a DJ, clanging was something we avoided. Any DJ would. It just it ruins it. It sounds like you can't even bear it. The noise is just terrible. 
Um, you know, you know how if you're listening to something, if 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 the beats aren't out, like it's not noise, even if you're not paying attention to it. But as soon as the beats are out and it's clanging all over the place, you notice it and you really don't want anything to do with it. So hopefully, what you're hearing isn't anything like that. Okay, so oh, mission start. Okay, then I'll go to bloody repeat there. That 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 might have been me trying to trying to mash the buttons. Right. Okay. Just just let me start the mission now. Let's let's just get into fights and. Okay, that's that that was interesting. The dual ram there, did you see that? Started like one second before the single ram. Um that, that genuinely I think it actually started quicker on that one. Um and we are ahead. And I, I mean I've pressed the buttons, they might be a little bit out, but they shouldn't be that much out. So that might have just been slightly faster loading. Again, it's just subjective and I likely don't know what I'm talking about. But you know what? It, it may have been uh, it may have been something that uh, it may have been something where maybe the dual ram did load this a second faster. This was interesting. I remember when I first saw this, it wasn't working, and I was really waiting for this to work on the core. I actually wanted to try this out so much that I actually played this on RetroArch. I was like, now I've got to play it, man. It's it's good, and uh, that's an emulation. It's not bad, bad, bad. It's not as good as like the Mr. FPGA, but it's not bad. It's definitely come a long way. I remember at a certain point I tried Saturn emulation and I, I thought it was terrible. When I tried it most recently, I didn't actually think it was terrible. I thought it was okay. So let's see if we can. Okay. So tried I tried moving the stuff, but obviously I'm mashing it up a bit there. Okay, that's my speed up there. Nice. <laughs> Guys, I recommend this game. Try this game out. Uh, Stellar Assault. It's called Shadow something in the title. Just look for Stellar Assault SS. It's it's good. It's well worth playing on, on the Mr. Core, man. Okay, it's going into autopilot. Let's go and let's 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 whack something else on. And guys, if you've got any requests, keep them coming in. Keep them coming in. Any requests there? Um, let's go to Tato Chase HQ. And it should give us a choice of game, right? This has Chase HQ and what is considered the sequel, Special Criminal Investigation, which I really, really like. I used to play that a lot in the arcade. Great game on a steering wheel, had the buttons for the gun and everything. Just absolutely superb. Right, okay. We're looking good. Okay, this is going to be a bit loud, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm turning the sound down for uh, the single RAM. And we're just going to go with the dual RAM sound, likely for the rest of the stream. If you want to hear them both together, then cool, we can uh, we can do that both together. Um, let's have a look. Cool. Okay, that's looking... Again, might be a frame or something out due to my button presses and everything, but it's looking, it's looking very, very good. This, I don't think this is something that pushes the system, by the way. This is just something that I like. So let's go... Actually, no, let's go Chase HQ because there's less buttons in there. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was my turbo. Right, I'm just gonna hold down accelerate, that's it. And that's all I'm doing, guys. I'm just holding down the A button. If I crash, I smash, whatever happens. Let's see. Let's see if it finishes at exactly the same time. I'm always interested in that because sometimes a variable might come out. You know, there might be a bit of randomness in the game, so it won't be like that. But yeah, let's hold down A and C. See where we go, right? Does it finish at exactly the same point? Okay, it's not. See, it hasn't crashed there. I'm still kind of gang in the trees <laughs> on the dual RAM version. <laughs> Okay, that's kind of interesting. Let me uh, let's let's turbo up both of these things. Okay, final turbo, both sides. Okay, guys, any any suggestions out there? <laughs> What's the time now? All right, yeah, maybe about another ten minutes tops, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll call it a chicken wrap. Let's have a look. So get get any requests in. Let's see if there's anything that pushes the system. Well, let's go Virtua Fighter 2 then. Okay, let's see how this kind of fares up. Awesome stuff. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to have to do a reset on both. Try and get them playing together. Come on, both load up now. Let's see those Sega logos. I really like this uh, this splash screen or the bio screen for the, for the Sega Saturn. There's some that I like. This is definitely one of the ones that I like. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Oh, I feel like a chicken donner now, but I can't eat out now. My wife's back. So I actually had pasta before this stream. However, good thing. One of my friends has got a restaurant and we are all going to it tomorrow as a family. So uh, he's a gamer friend as well. So good stuff. Um, yeah, he invited me while uh, he said, look, come down while, while, while my family was away. And I was like, look, the family's away. Do you mind if I take a rain check and I'll come when they come back? And he was like, absolutely. So they came back yesterday. I was like, shall we go? um and uh, visit my buddy at the restaurant he's invited us they were like absolutely so that is where we're going tomorrow should be fun should be fun right wicked let's have a look now and guys just to kind of always point i always have to point out um the sponsor of um any mr related streams is mr add-ons definitely uh, definitely check them out if you're after like a full mr setup uh, right, okay, let's now have a look. Come on, run run, run me like a little demo, and hopefully it's the same one, I wonder. I wonder if it... Okay, it is the same one. Perfect. You know, sometimes you wonder if it has like a random code in there to show you like random stuff, but here you go. It runs exactly the same thing. And uh, it's, it's amazing to see where this has come, because I remember when this ran slow, it didn't quite run at 60 frames a second. It was doing like 30, 40, 50 even, or whatever it was, it wasn't running at 60, and you could kind of notice that slowdown. So, again, it's just absolutely amazing what SRG 320 has done with this core. It's come a long way, we've got stuff, yeah, we've pretty much got the vast majority of the catalogue running. And uh, I, get, I imagine the finish line is very, very close, right? And um, yeah, I really hope everything does work on it. There's, there's, there's no issues presented by uh, the Mister's hardware. Uh, it just works on there. I mean, the Mister's got a lot of life left in there, guys, right? Uh, even with newer platforms coming out, and don't get me wrong, guys, I'm looking forward to newer platforms, right? I'm really, really looking forward to the Replay 2. I'm looking forward to getting that in my hands and running cores on there. Um, but there's only a few particular cores that I really, really want. So I want, like... Um, Dreamcast and Naomi, hopefully something like that will come out for uh, the replay too. I really hope so. I, I've got no information on whether that's coming out for that, but I, I live in hope. Um, some of the more like newer arcade games would be nice on that. But honestly, like the only the only two things that I would really like an FPGA implementation of is uh, Naomi Dreamcast. Uh, I know I can buy a Dreamcast, but it's all the extras and everything I have to buy with it that I don't want to. That's why I'd rather have an FPGA console. And I want CPS free. I, I will be complete. Now, as far as the other arcade games that I like, guys, like a lot of them are so doable in the Mister. They, they're just not done yet. If you have a look at MAME and you have a look at the games that the, the time period that the Mister has covered, right? It, it's kind of done stuff like even some of the early 90s stuff quite comfortably, definitely like late 80s. So my golden day of the arcade is there. Some of the newer games aren't. Okay, that's. What happened there? It went out. I wasn't paying attention there. It, it went out. Okay, they got into like a different mode or something happened. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. All right. So what's going on here? Let's see if it loads up the same demo when it does. So on the right, it said loading. Please start. Let's see what happens. Just curious now. I thought they would have just cycled around in the same thing. Come on, show us a demo. Let's, did I press a button by accident or something? I don't know. I'm holding the controllers. Let's see. Let's see if... Um, old man comes back on this one uh, on the left hand side okay cool all right so for whatever reason that was out but again i don't think this is um an advantage of dual ram over um you know single ram or anything like that so let's have a look uh let's see virtual cop 2 maybe since we're on the virtual stuff let's have a look Oh, okay. Is one of them going to crash now? I'm going to have to do a reset. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a reset. Let's do a reset. That's really weird. I don't get that sometimes. Just need to do a reset. It doesn't, it doesn't boot up, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty random on both of them, on the single and the dual RAM version. See, like now, now this time it will work. It's really, 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 really weird, right? Let's do that reset. And, and this time, both of them should absolutely work um so when one happens and i do a reset the initial one starts booting up then the other one goes into that reset fair okay completely wrong here let's give it another one 
and hopefully it will just start working. I've never had to do it this many times before, by the way, guys. That's that's a new one there. I hope everyone's having like a good weekend. I hope you guys are having like a good, wholesome Saturday, guys. What's going on, man? One's working and, and not the other when I'm doing this. It's a it's a it's a wee bit annoying. Let's just let's load the games from scratch. Okay. That's weird. So let's uh, let's give it a reset. I'm I'm convinced it's gonna work. It's not gonna be one's gonna not work. Let me press start here to see if that helps. And just pass the thing. Come on! Yes, finally. <laughs> Excellent. Again, this is a good game, guys. And I have to say, these these some of these light gun games they work um, they work really well, even on a controller. They're actually quite playable. There are se uh, there are still several early and mid eighties arcade calls. I'd happy to see. Yep, pole position, tubing, super sprint. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, maybe one day. There seems to be um, a focus on late nineties arcade recently. Do you know, I'm I'm good with um, I'm good with. Um, with late 80s and early 90s, I'm really, really good with that because stuff like uh, a lot of the stuff I started playing kind of came out like 87, uh, 88, 89, and then even like 90, 91. So I'm, 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 I'm really, really good with that stuff. But again, you know, from a preservation standpoint, it's nice to see some of the older games as well. I know some people are very, very passionate about them. Um, yeah, they would be, they, they would be, yeah, they're very, very passionate and, and they like those. So I, I, I like, I, I, I like the fact that they're released and people can enjoy them. It's just, we all have our golden day of the arcade, right? Some people I speak to, they're like, no, my go-to game was Defender. You know, I wasn't really getting arcades by myself playing Defender. So that, that wasn't my golden day in the arcade. But if you mention something like Bad Dudes vs. Dragon Ninja, Golden Axe, uh, Two Crew Dudes, uh, Joe and Mac, Street Fighter 2, definitely, even Street Fighter 1, damn it, man. Like, absolutely loved, loved those games in the arcade. Street Fighter 1 was brass, though. It was terrible. But there was nothing like it at the time. You know, you saw that in the arcade, big sprites, shooting stuff. It was absolutely amazing. It was mind-blowing. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So, you know, everyone has their golden, golden day. I, I imagine there's some people that are younger than me that... You know, they may appreciate Golden Axe and Dragon Ninja, but they might be into a lot of the new shmups, like a lot of the new shmups, like, um, like what is it, the the, the Rising Core. That's not something I played in the arcade. I might have seen some of them, but it's not something I played, but they look really, really good. And they kind of came a few years after I started. Well, I, I kind of always went to the arcade. I'd always pop in, but I didn't frequent them like I used to. You know, our circle, our friendship circle kind of changed. Uh, what's this? Uh, which I missed your earlier comment, James. Uh, joking, no one has that. Let me see if I can find that one. Okay, I'm I'm lost. I don't know if your comment got deleted or something. Um, hello, Altered Beast is a big yeah. Altered Beast is good, man. I always found it really, really difficult. Um, so I played it a little. I only played it a couple of times in the arcade, but I remember playing it on software emulation and then thinking, okay, you know what? Um, yeah, and on a software emulation, the controls are kind of bad. Like, it, it felt a little bit sluggish. When I played it recently on the Mister, I did a little bit better on it. But yeah, that, that game just looked wicked. The power-ups in that were bliss, right? You know, when you come the wolf, the dragon, I think the bear, absolutely wicked. And that, that felt good, man. That felt good. When you played that stuff, it just felt wicked. Uh, guys, any, any suggestions for anything else? I see someone kind of mentioned Daytona there. Uh, I think I saw it in chat. Here we go. Uh, okay, uh, Sega Rally, uh, Daytona. Let's do Daytona USA because you know what? You can't really have a Sega stream without kind of visiting Daytona, right? I mean, Daytona's Daytona's Daytona it is bloody fantastic. So Daytona USA. And... Let's go. This, this uh, Daytona is something that describes arcade games for me really, really well. Let me let's start here, and hopefully both of them boot up, man. I don't want to, I don't want the the dashboard screen, right? Okay, I don't mind two dashboard screens. Hopefully, a reset on both will get them to work. Okay, what time we got? Okay, wow, we're above an hour and a half, right? This might be the last game, then, guys. Unless someone wants to mention a game in comments, 
this is going to be the last one um i've even put the controllers on uh, on my desk one on each side so if you want another game cool if not we'll kind of wrap it up with this um it's been an interesting stream it's been it's been a little bit of science i would love to get a controller uh, and alex rose my bro if you're still around if um if you can get me um the name of the controller link of that controller provided it's not crazy money right um i'd be really really interested in that because i think i think it can it can lead to some interesting videos where it can be connected to two separate devices i mean i'd even like to for example uh, attach one of those controller things um okay mega man x4 will be the last game man no worries uh, snk kev we can do that i'd like to for example like if something comes out for the switch uh, or, or like for example the switch has got the n64 stuff right have the n64 stuff on, on the switch and actually run it at the same time as running the mr fpga core and just run both of them together right so we can actually see differences in real time uh, another you know another interesting thing would be just software emulation something like uh retro arch right run retro arch run something on the mr run so or run even oh, you know what, what oh man you know what would be really really nice is run something on the analog pocket and the mr the same core that's available so you know maybe like one of hotago's cores like run them run them on the mr and the analog pocket have them side by side you've got one controller plugged in so you're, you're pretty much doing the same moves you're going through it and just see exactly how accurate they are now hotego's work is is spot on man i'm a big fan of his and i don't expect to find anything but all that stuff is it's very very interesting to find it and you know what's good if you do find some things up you can always report it and it's always something that can get get, get fixed up like a uh, vampire said um to report the um, the bug in street fighter 2 the movie I'll, I'll report that after this stream i'll just go over um and just mention look this is what happened so i think um pork shop um pork shop express uh the the, the owner of mr add-ons uh has has got a spreadsheet going so he can add it to that and that's something that can get looked at right now let's do mega man mega man right i know i've got that and i might have it you know i might even have it as mega man because i think there was a Mega Man 4X, perfect. Mega Man 4X. Okay, I've pressed both of them together. Right, guys, this is going to be the finale then. I'll right, press start here and hopefully it don't crash. Hopefully we get two Sega logos. Yeah. All right, then. Again, like some, some of the stuff that's a frame out, there could be a few things. It could be user error on my part, the difference in me pressing the button on two controllers. It could be maybe one of the, the RF dongles is more responsive than the other. And it also could be that the capture kind of HDMI adapter that I'm using for um, for the dual RAM setup is just a cheap one, right? Like, for example, I bought my Elgato uh, a year and a half, two years ago. Uh, for around 180 pounds and i bought this adapter for 13 pounds so there's a massive difference in the price um but for 13 pounds what i've got isn't actually bad to experiment and do this stuff um i'll definitely keep it and, and the thing i like about it is very very small so i've got like a 10 inch laptop it's called a, a gpd win max 2 it's very very good it's good to take around and, and i've always got a laptop it's actually got a controller built in as well so i can stream from it sometimes if i want to um but in the little bag for that i can put this adapter so for example i can have like a little a little display for the mister uh, i'm interested in trying it on that screen to see how much latency there is i can see that this is definitely like at least a frame or maybe two frames out because i'll tell you how you can notice it if you look at it where it swaps scene you might be able to see on one on one of the screens you're going to see it like literally a frame quicker than the other one but it's it's very very difficult to see I'm, try I'm trying to spot it now to see if anything kind of happens. Yep. Well, I don't know. Again, I don't know. I don't know. It's very, very subjective, right? But guys, what have we learned today, right? I know what I have learned, right? Dual RAM is definitely, definitely not a requirement on uh, on the Mr. FPGA, at least as far as the Saturn Core is concerned. Now, I'd advise anyone, if uh, if you intend to play on a on a CRT, actually, you know what? That, that, that advice is out the window. You can buy the new uh, IO board that Sorge is making, which makes going between uh, a, a, a dual RAM or a dual RAM, single RAM, and uh, digital and analog very, very easy. It's not something that I've got. Here you go. You can see it's out of it because the flashing isn't at exactly the same time. But again, that's likely down to my button presses and other factors. As far as the core goes, single and dual RAM are just as good as, uh, good as each other. 
However, the only thing that we did find was that graphical glitch in Street Fighter 2 the movie, and that was it. And that's something that's going to get patched up because, like I said, that worked. That has worked previously, right? Uh, <laughs> wicked. Um, nice one, uh, SNK Kev, my childhood. Yeah, it's a good game, man. They, do you know what I have to say, though, SNK Kev? Like, playing the Mega Man games now, I find them very, very difficult. Um, there's a guy that mods a lot of um, DS Castlevania games and Game Boy Advance one. It's a guy called Orsted. Um, so I kind of become friends with him talking about hacking and, and whatnot. And he's really into the Mega Man stuff. So he's always putting in Mega Man into Castlevania games. Um, and I always kind of like get an early release off him. And he, you know, he kind of like, I used to, I used to cover Castlevania a lot more on the channel before doing uh, all the FPGA stuff. And um, yeah, and because of playing like some of those hacks, I wanted to check out the real games. But the real games are tough, man. They're not bad games. They're bloody good games. Uh, Mega Man 2 is where I was at. That was, that was my Mega Man 2. That is what me uh, and a bunch of friends completed together. Remember the days we used to sit around, used to, you know, used to go around to your friend's house and you know as well as playing like multiplayer games so when street fighter ca street fighter 2 came out that revolutionized like two-player gaming right sessions where you're all versing each other but before that there were some two-player games but a lot of times you would go around to your friend's house and you would take turns on games and some of the games we completed together were um super mario brothers 2 a lot of nes games we completed um Mega Man 2, we could never complete the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game, man. That was that was punishingly tough, right? And that's when we were good at games and dedicated. So it was really, really good to kind of complete complete those games, man. And I think that's why a lot of people like streaming and Twitch when they watch people going through games, because it's like, well, you can't have a go yourself, right? Because you're watching the streamer, but it's like you're speaking to your friends and socializing. Um, to be honest, the Ypsilon, uh, Jose, that manages um, the update all script, he's the one that actually kind of pointed that out to me and said that he enjoys streaming because when he was young, they used to hang out as friends and play and talk and streaming, give, streaming gives him that opportunity. And I thought, you know what, that is bang on. That is, that is a very, very good point. But uh, going back to the stream, guys, honestly, like dual ram single ram whatever you've got if you've got single ram unit you are good right and in the future if something happens where you think okay you know what i need dual ram if a call comes out and you know and it's fully complete it's a fully complete call because we have got we've got the Saturn one that has a single and dual RAM version, right? But the single RAM version is fantastic. Uh, we've got the, the Midway Y unit core, which, okay, out of the whole core, only two games work and it doesn't have sound. So it's not worth upgrading, in my opinion, to a, a, a dual RAM setup to play a core that doesn't have sound, right? I mean, if it was fully complete and Smash TV was your gig, Total Carnage was your gig, you know, stuff like Mortal Kombat work, then you're like, okay, you know what? I need to get dual RAM. But as it stands at the moment, there's nothing out there that needs it. Maybe that's going to change in the future. If it does, I'm, I'm glad I've got both setups because what I can do is I can run stuff on both the setups. You know, we can do comparison videos again. I may actually just pick up a better capture card. So I, I, I might even try and pick up uh, the same one. I've got HD, um, HD 60 S Plus. So I've got exactly the same output going for both misters. So we're looking at it as as closely or in, in, in a similar scenario as possible, right? Uh, so that would be really good. Yo, yeah, unloved homie, morning, morning for you, man. Yeah, I'm doing like different times, man. Uh, different times during the day. It's just kind of fun. Um, all we did today is we just we ran uh, a single um, single RAM, single SD RAM, and a dual SD RAM Mister, and we ran them simultaneously. Uh, what you're seeing on your screen, you can see it marked up single and double. And to be honest, like it's it's the, the results have been pretty much the same, bar one graphical glitch in Street Fighter the movie, which is something that will definitely get patched up because it was working before. But guys, you know what? Absolutely awesome. Like I appreciate every single one of you dropping into the stream. Like seriously, good people out there. Um, have a really good uh, day. Uh, if you're like unloved homie and just starting your day, wicked. Go get yourself a cup of coffee. Have a brilliant day, my friend. Uh, everyone else that's in uh, that popped in, SNK Kev, LL, uh, Jane, Belmont, Dave, uh, Simply Austin, thanks again for uh, that super chat, super like, whatever it's called. Appreciate the donation. Uh, Retro Maniac, absolutely fantastic. John Clark, uh, if I'm not name naming you personally, I apologize. I'm just kind of going through chat. Uh, Natron, Killada, Richard Hardpill, uh, uh, Alex Rose as well, Super Dimensional. Uh, absolutely everyone, guys, thank you for stopping by. Honestly, talking to you guys, uh, the fun that I have is what makes me want to do these streams. Like, I really, I've, I actually don't play that many games anymore. I just come on and I think, yeah, let me come and do a stream because it's fun hanging out. But guys, honestly, that's awesome. Have a fantastic weekend. Be awesome to one another.